Welcome everybody, I'm Infected One, and this is a short, practical guide of building budget guns when you don't have the flea, meaning under level 15, and you also need to have Jaeger. You don't have to have Jaeger, but it helps. I'm gonna show you also a workaround if you do not have Jaeger for some of these gun builds I'm gonna present. Also, this guy doesn't consider the guns that USEC or Bear starts with. This is a universal guide for everybody. All your traders are level one. You don't have the flea. You have some money you start with, maybe some money you acquired, but that's about it. It's a you down bad kind of situation. I'm going to show you the best guns. Okay. For you nice people that already have the flea and already have the level two traders, I'm going to make a guide for you. It's going to be somewhere here or there eventually, but right now let's dive back balls deep into being broke, fleeless, and only level 1 traders. Let's go. First gun, and you guys are probably gonna laugh about it, but you really shouldn't. It's got the title of the meme gun, but um, nothing is meme about it. If you're kind of down bad, you want to go with the Kedder. I know you want to go with the Kedder. I'm going to show you and explain why. Okay, you're going to buy the Kedder. There's the more expensive version, which is the clean. Uh, the only difference is it has like 100 more RPM. We don't care about that. It, it won't matter. Okay, you might think that this gun is not the best, pen is kind of lousy, uh, and you, you'll be totally right. But we're working with what we have right now, which is no money, no flea, and uh, lousy traders. So, anyway, the bullet I'm suggesting everybody to use is the PPT bullet of a 9x18mm. And why I'm suggesting this bullet, first of all, the pen of all these bullets is kind of bad anyways. The damage is decent, but it's not gonna pen. Let's be honest about it. What's good about this one is the it gives you minus seven recoil. So for a gun that has low recoil as is, minus seven recoil is very, very good. And uh, you might be saying like, you get the 30 rounder with the Kether, but then you cannot buy any other 30 rounder unless you do a pliers barter, which is right. You only have the option to buy the 20 rounder mag from Prepper. But there's a little trick, it's called fence is kind of underrated when it comes to stuff like that. He sells 30 rounders like almost all the time because it's a scav gun and here you go, scav mags. So without further ado, I'm going to demonstrate why this gun is actually good and this is why, okay? Not fucking with you, I didn't pull my mouse down at all. As you can see, the spread is really tight. It doesn't go over, it went a bit up and then stabilized over here. I'm gonna also show you what happens if you shoot it far away. Okay, I aimed towards, you can say, center mass right now. And uh, as you can see, the guy got hit three times in the head. This gun works, okay? If you're down bad, don't laugh at the Kether. It's actually a very strong gun, especially if you can aim it head level and just spray. This thing is a laser. Okay, this is the most budget laser you can ever put your hands on. It's the Keter. Put some fame on the name. Okay, next up on the list, the PP-19-01 gun from Level 1 Prepper. You buy this, this gun is a beast. And why it's good? Because you can also buy the 30 rounders straight from the get-go. I'm gonna, just gonna buy one just to demonstrate. Okay, what's good about this gun is that you can actually modify it. I'm gonna show you the preset that I'm using. Uh, it only requires level 1 traders and a level 1 Jaeger, but the level 1 Jaeger is only for one part. I'm gonna show you this right now. The Saiga 9 muzzle brake compensator. The dust cover with the railing from Prapper 1. The AK-100 handguard from Prapper 1. With the CAC, K-A-C, I don't know how you say it. Or you can go with the RK-6. It depends what you want. This is plus 5 ergo and 1% uh, recoil reduction and this is plus 7 ergo. I usually would not sacrifice 2 ergo for 1% of recoil so I usually gonna take the CAC. You can also do the plus 1 ergo by taking the RP1 charging handle from Skier. Gives you plus 1 ergonomics. Ergonomics is awesome. We love it. And uh, there's also a place for a flashlight. You can get the GTL21 Glock flashlight and laser. If you need a tactical device you can also skip it if you're like on a budget. And for sights there's multiple multiple options. Um, what I love to do, I can go MRS. I like the MRS. It's a personal preference over here. Another option is going with the Boris, the FF3. It's also a very good option. It's clean. It's tiny. Some people might not like it because you see the front of the gun a bit too much, um, but it, it also works. And this build, for example, is going to cost us 51k, not including the gun, which comes to a total of 
this number right here and the bullet i'm suggesting for you to use is uh the green tracer from mechanic it gives minus six recoil and the only other option is the pso from either prepper or jaeger pen is kind of low and it also doesn't give you a minus six recoil buff so i'll go with the green tracers from level one mechanic any day and i'm gonna show you uh how this gun shoots Okay, so this is how the PP-19 shoots. Again, you can use a different sight. I like the Boris uh, if I don't have any other options. You can also go MRS or whatever you feel comfortable with. This is it. Okay, as you can see, it's a bit less stable than the Keller. It's packing a stronger caliber. You can put a sight on it. And um, unfortunately, you cannot really put a suppressor on it at level one unless you find like a barter item. But uh, other than that, this gun is pretty decent. Okay, the next gun is my personal favorite. I think it's hella underrated uh, and it's so, so strong early wipe or if you're low level compared to what you can get. And it's the VPO 209 that shoots the 366 caliber. You can buy it at skier level one. It costs uh, 28K and you can make this thing into a beast. I'm gonna show you my preset. Again, you use kind of the same items as on the PP19. It's the saw hand grip. It's the RP1 charging handle. You want use the bastion for that you need to remove the rear sight and then you buy the bastion it's a level one skier item you buy the AK-100 from Prapper. Again, it's your choice if you want to put the KAC uh, foregrip or the RK-6 foregrip. This is a semi-gun. I want ergo. It's also um, kind of ergo-less, so to speak. So I go with the KAC, just a preference. Um, and what's cool about this gun is that you can actually buy a suppressor for it from the get-go. It's not expensive. From Skier Level 1, it's the suppressor for the 366 caliber. And you can actually use it as a... Uh, mid-range gun as a close range gun and you can even go all out and maybe use it as a marksman rifle which is very very good considering that you have really limited options with no flea and uh, with level one traders the only downfall that I see with this gun is that you're kind of limited to using 10 rounders off skier but it comes with a silver lining because for some reason 10 round magazines gives you plus seven ergonomics so in that sense your gun ergo is lower without that mag than with that mag i don't know why they made it this way it's just the way it is but again there's a fix to this you don't have to limit yourself to use a 10 round mag you can always browse fence refresh them a couple of times and you're gonna see that the guy sells the AK mags, the scav mags we all know and love, and you can buy this and it's gonna work perfectly with the VPO we just built. So this is the end build right here again you can use it with 30 rounders you found from fence you can use it with the 10 rounders if you want a bit more ergo but it's gonna cost you about 20 bullets so i prefer going with the 30 rounders you can slap the uh gtl 21 on it as well on the same place as on the pp19 and um and the choice of which scope slash sight you want to use is up to you if you want to do it medium close range you're gonna put the red out on it again a red out of your choosing the other option you can do is if you have Jaeger level one and you gave him that letter from Woods, you can buy PLAT scope with its mount, the UTG 25 mil, both are level one Jaeger, and you can use it as a marksman rifle. So you have this option for the marksman rifle and you have this option with red dot for close medium range. And now for the bullet, we have both the Gexa option and the FMJ option, okay? From these two, my personal preference is using the Gexa. Why? Even with the lower pen, why the Gexa and not the FMJ? Because the FMJ gives you plus 10 recoil for your gun, even though it's semi-auto you want it to be surgical, you want your marksman rifle, you want your semi-auto gun to be precise and to deliver uh, hits as much as often and as fast as possible. So that's why I'm gonna sacrifice a bit of pen and uh, choose the Gexa. Also does 110 damage. It's a scav killing machine, assuming scavs don't really go with uh, armor on them. Most scavs don't wear armor. So this is a, a killer and a shredder. It has high heavy bleed and light bleed options on it too okay everybody this is the demo of the gun i'm gonna show you it with gexa bullet now it's loaded with the gexa bullet and after i'm gonna show you with the fmj so you can spot the difference which minus 10 recoil actually does so this is gexa you can see i'm tapping tapping long range and this is short medium range with fmj
and this is Gexa for a long range, mid range. And this is FMJ bullets for the long medium range with the 4x PLAT scope. As you can see, the 10 recoil does matter. The 10 recoil debuff does matter. It's balancing a lot more. And this is not a stressful environment and players do move and you will probably move during a gunfight. And there's a lot of bouncing around with the FMJ if you're doing long range. And last but not least, if you want a good bolt action sniper, not a Mosin or anything like that that can't take a scope early on, you want to use the VPO 215. What's good about this, first of all, it's the only bolt action rifle that takes a scope when you don't have the flea. And every trader is level 1. The only other option for a bolt action rifle you have is the carbine Mosin, and then you need to shoot it with iron sight. That's not really a sniping experience, you know? It's kind of sad even. The second thing is that this is the cheapest gun I've showed on the list. It's cheaper than the Keter. It's cost only 18 and a half K rubles and you only need to buy practically these two. Slap it on there and if you want you can use a suppressor. You might not use the suppressor. You just have to take the cap off, slap on the suppressor and this is the suppressor you can buy at level 1 skier without the flea and that's why it's so good. You can actually at under 15 with no flea and level 1 traders get a suppressed sniper with a scope. So that was it for the video. These are my gun builds which are recommended recommend if you don't have the flea and you have only level one traders if you guys like the video and you like the effort i've put into it please consider a like and a subscribe if you're not subscribed it helps me a lot it's free for you and it's the world for me and if you have any other gun builds for fleeless motherfuckers like ourselves or like whoever is watching this video please hit them down in the comments let me know i would love to learn you live and you learn